Welcome back. I hope you all have enjoyed the videos on AI we have been putting out and have been learning more about how AI and technology has been integrated in our daily life. And in this video, we'll talk about the use of AI in finance. Before we talk about how AI is used in finance, we should understand why AI is adopted in this particular area. Finance is the most data-intensive area in economics. Given its information intensity, it is best handled by computers. In 2015, Deutsche Bank predicted that the global financial market, including stock markets, bonds, and debt securities, is worth roughly 300 trillion US dollars. Traditionally, lots of quantitative analysts are employed in finance. They do their jobs with the help of strong digital infrastructure to perform the ability to store, calculate, and exchange data. In fact, two-thirds of the senior decision makers in finance are bullish with AI technology. Therefore, we can expect a high adoption rate in the future. Now, with the background knowledge out of the way, we can finally jump into the various use of AI in finance. We'll talk about seven ways in which AI is used to have the financial services in this video in detail. First of all, let's look at fraud detection. Financial institutions are required by laws to monitor millions of transactions to A. Stop money laundering B. Prevent any financing of terrorist activities and C. Detect fraudulent transactions the traditional rule-based detection methods include detecting excessive cash deposits, rapid money movement, and structured transactions. But the traditional methods have a high false positive rate, and the ways in which they manually carry out investigations are far from efficient, and they're expensive to hire enough qualified talent. This is why we adopt AI in such an investigation, such that the detection can run day and night. Secondly, we have AI helping in detecting anti-money laundering AML activities by running anomaly detection algorithms. The algorithms that AI runs include clustering algorithm and K-nearest neighborhood KNN algorithm. In December 2018, the US Treasury Department and the federal banking regulators issued a joint statement to encourage innovative methods in AML which increases the use of AI. Thirdly, AI is used in cybersecurity. Financial institutions are often under attacks by hackers. Similarly, anomaly detection algorithms can be used to detect suspicious network traffic and log in, detect unusual clients' activities, find out malicious IP addresses, detect and prevent malware, and filter phishing emails for example, I believe you have all received a notification on your phone when you try to log into your account from an unusual location and from a new device. This is the work of the ever-running cybersecurity AI is trying to protect you, your money, and your information. Fourthly, AI can be used in keeping track of the credit score. A credit score is a number that depicts consumers' credit worthiness. The higher the score, the better a borrower looks to a potential lenders. A credit score is based on the credit history, the number of accounts you have opened, the total levels of debt, and the repayment history, etc. Lenders use credit scores to evaluate the probability that an individual will repay loans in a timely manner. You may ask why a credit score is important. Well, your credit score is one of the factors that helps a bank or lender to determine whether to accept your loan application. It will also decide how much the lenders are willing to lend you. And depending on your score, it will also impact the term and interest way they will offer. Therefore, before approving a mortgage, financial institutions measure the client's debt worthiness to avoid bad debt. With the help of AI, financial institutions can easily run data analysis on clients. AI produces a more accurate credit score by analyzing spending habits, investment habits, cash flow, loan repayment history, and the value of collateral. 
It is a better measurement of credit worthiness. It enables financial institutions to engage in less risky mortgage deals and have clients secure a lower mortgage interest rate. Fifthly, we make better investment decisions with the help of AI. Machines can observe patterns from the past and predict the future. They are finding the best entry point or exit point in an investment. AI also studies from the data to find triggers for crises to provide a better risk analysis. It suggests a suitable investment portfolio based on risk appetite. And last but not least, time is money. The earlier you know something, the more likely you will get profits. With how fast information spreads now with the help of the internet, investment benefits a lot from the advance of technology. Moreover, AI is incorporated in new financial research tools. One thing that AI does is what we call sentiment analysis, which AI basically analyzes the mood of the market from news and comments on social media. Another thing that AI can do for us is satellite image analysis. Example is that AI analyzes satellite images of car parks to determine which one is profitable. You won't invest in a car park that is in the middle of nowhere, will you? Another way that AI helps with research is report analysis. AI can turn through financial reports and condense it into simple summary. Or it can turn through financial statements and turn it into a report. Apart from what we have mentioned so far, customer profiling is one of the main areas AI helps with the researchers. It creates a portrait of customers to sell them more fitting products. And finally, AI is excellent in helping with back office administration, sediments, record maintenance, accounting, report generation, and regulatory compliance are often mandate and repetitive work. AI is adopted to cut down the number of people, time, and money we need to perform these tedious tasks with the advantages that a lot of document manipulation can be totally automated. So that is all that I would like to introduce you to AI in finance. In fact, we have one area of the use of AI in the financial world uncovered in this video, which is the AI Personal Financial Assistant Chatbot. Can you think of any benefits of using Chatbot in finance? Comment down below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.